My mother-in-law is still processing. It was Mark Horner that encouraged his mother-in-law to call the police and report what happened. She's a lovely woman. We're glad that she's that she's okay, and I think that she's going to be a little bit even more um, wary of people approaching her going forward. Sadly, her necklace and ring just two of the pieces taken Monday by a group of people, including a child who spotted her out walking and stopped to ask directions to the nearest church. <laughs> and so there's all of this distraction and deception going on. They hugged and her, shook her hand. So if a lady gets out of a dark SUV with other people inside and says, it's my birthday, I want to give you some gifts, that they were right gone. there is a huge so was red her jewelry. flag. The variations weird. in the vehicles, slight variations in the descriptions of the suspects tell us that this is a group and that it's, a, it's an organized well-rehearsed tactic. Bellevue police releasing this footage of the alleged thieves at work. BPD calling this an organized crime ring they believe is operating up and down the West Coast. They believe the group is using rental cars and to date have hit Bellevue, Renton and Mill Creek. Tonight, law enforcement wants you on the lookout and is warning the elderly especially to be cautious of overly friendly people approaching them while out walking. I think more than anything, the reason I'm speaking out and I have my mother-in-law's permission to do so, we just want to help uh, you know, give the shout out to the community to be on the lookout. And investigators believe that the uh, suspected thieves are successfully using children in an attempt to confuse and disarm elderly people. In Mill Creek, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.